Hello, this is Dear Dame Sane, and today we are going to do a watercolor uh, painting of a window. And uh, we are going to um, do kind of a simple shape. It's going to be a half a circle, and I'm separating that half a circle on half, and um, that will be the two windows. And they will have also little sections so you can do no sections in your window or you can add few sections also I'm adding an extra line around that first half a circle and I'm separating it also on sections to represent um, the rock around the window so the frame around the window and then on the back I will just do um, a wall also uh, rocks so I'm kind of staggering the lines but pretty much you have horizontal and vertical lines um, I'm going to put three little pots empty pots so we're not gonna over uh, complicate this um, little painting so there's gonna be empty pots the top of the pot is a oval very flat oval and then you just have two lines kind of coming a little bit closer together and then another kind of a smiley on the bottom so it looks more two-dimensional also I'm going to add a plant on the left hand side and I will show you how to use a sponge just to create a fun little um, illusion of rocks and also the ground we're gonna use that sponge to just help us um, give a little bit a different effect with watercolor and the first thing I'm going to do is go around and outline all of the rocks because the part that the rocks are um, together the little lines will be in much deeper shadow so we are going to all outline those uh, colors that I'm using is black and blue so it's like a grayish um, kind of a blue because we are using more water than paint so it's a very transparent color And the first layer is going to be very very light and from then we are going to add few layers to this to make it a little bit more visible because right now we're super light on the colors and we are going to emphasize that little by little so all those uh, areas that we are gonna paint will take turns kind of switching between two different paint sets but it really I don't have to do that um, because I'm kind of using more the space that I have there and the colors are already mixed but I'm just using uh, blue and that is like an ultramarine blue and just um, adding that to the window frame I will have all the materials that are my favorite materials in the description below so if you decide to check and see what I'm using on most of my tutorials it will be down there for you easily to find it and I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what do you think or what do you want to see in the future I would love to hear from you and if you do enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notifications for the future videos. So I'm adding a little bit of kind of a um, brownish 
purplish. So I do a lot of mixing colors, but you don't have to. Um, you can just keep it uh, gray all the way through, just adding uh, more or less blue in your gray. So I'm going to do the same thing to the wall on the back. The first thing I'm going to do is the little lines in between. And then with a wet brush, I'm going to soften those lines. There is a lot of repetition uh, in this little painting, but uh, it goes really fast. So this is the ground and I'm just using very transparent brown on it. And later on I'm going to use the sponge to create kind of like uh, tiny little um, dots so it's gonna look more like dirt or kind of rocks on the ground so it's gonna make it so much easier and uh, faster to use the sponge and I'm gonna do the same thing to the wall um, using a little bit of uh, gray colors to create more texture So I'm adding a little bit of brown on the wall too, but I'm adding it and then I'm gently removing it with a wet brush and softening that look. So this is going to be our first layer of the painting. So we're adding kind of the base colors before we add more paint and more elements. So we're going to start on the little plant on the side and I'm going to start with a yellowish green so it's more yellow than green and these are the highlights in our plant. So we're going to um, do that part first, we're going to add a little bit of the light green too which is um, another mixture of green and yellow but a little bit more green in it but we're going to keep it really, really light. And of course, the first layer of the little pots on the window. You can skip the pots if you want to. Um, it's just another element to make it more interesting. And I'm just doing very transparent brown all around. In this stage, we are, like I said, we are just adding the first layer of our painting. Um, it is an important layer, but uh, we are going to do a lot more to this painting. And of course, for the windows, I will add a few different colors. And the first one is a little bit of brown, because something is reflecting inside our windows. It could be either from inside the house or it could be from outside. Uh, but we are going to kind of create um, some sort of elements inside those little rectangles that are representing the window. So I'm going between um, brown and gray color, bluish gray, which is the color I use for also the rocks on the back. And again, clean brush. I'm softening that first layer in the window also. So this is our ochre with a little bit of black in it. And I'm adding the shadow side of the window. 
which is on the top and left side. Now you can you can add the shadow only on the top. That will be fine. Depends where you want the light to be coming from. Now also I'm adding in that um, kind of a dirty brown in the window, um, almost like stripes down um, to make it look like maybe that's a curtain, not necessarily just reflection of uh, from something outside. So I kind of switched that around a little bit. And the first layer of the pots is dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And pretty much what I'm doing is uneven layer of brown, and that brown um, sometimes I get it dirty with a little bit of the black in it. So any brown that you have, it's fine. Um, if your brown is doesn't have red in it, just add a little bit of red to make it more like a terracotta. Um, but you can just use brown, it's totally okay and very forgiving. So this is green. Also, a lot of times I mix my green with ochre and black if I'm creating a little bit of darker areas. And that green, which is very kind of a dirty green, I'm gonna add it in a few areas in the rocks, crevices, um, just to make it look like it's an old wall and maybe it has a little bit of um, kind of growth on it too. So it has moss or mold, just making, making it look more old looking. So this is uh, our second layer on the rocks. Already starting to look more um, stony. And now I'm going to use the sponge and that is going to be for the ground. And I'm just using brown and because the sponge has tiny little holes, don't make your sponge too wet. It creates um, little elements, almost like the uh, ground is uneven and just makes it really fast. And with the grayish color, I went on the wall and also on the ground because the um, sponge will add this tiny black dots on the ground, which could be um, the shadow side of those little pebbles or um, dirt, whatever it is. So it, it, we added really fast texture. I'm using a very small brush and I'm adding a, a shadow, a little bit deeper shadow. The windows are dry, so I'm adding another layer um, to our windows, um, a line that represents a little bit more emphasis on the shadow. So a lot of times I'm doing my shadows in few stages. So I have a shadow that's a little bit more spread and then I'm adding a shadow that's more concentrated. So it's a very much smaller line than the previous shadow. And that creates a lot more depth. And again, I'm using um, blues and blacks. And we don't want to have um, just the same shapes inside the window, so I will put a little bit of um, different variations of that color in the window to represent a reflection from somewhere. So 
gonna go around and emphasize again on the shadows one more time and a lot of times I switch between let's say um, much darker blue or more uh, blackish or lighter color so it's not even and absolutely the same and gives more interest to the painting. And I'm going to go and do the same thing to um, the little lines on the rock because those are the connections between the rocks and they usually indent it. a little more shadows from this point on pretty much everything on our painting will be um, where is going to be our highlights and where is going to be our shadows and to make sure we don't lose those two elements let's add a little deeper shadow right under so that window seems that it's uh, sticking a little bit further away from the actual opening of the window. So that frame is out just because we added that deeper shadow. Love painting windows. I have done so many windows and doors um, and I never get tired of it so I hope you guys enjoy it too. We haven't even touched the uh, plant on the side so let's go for that and we're gonna use beautiful green. Um, a lot of times I mix my grains with ochre to create very woodsy and very soft green um, and I mix also my green to make it lighter with yellow or orange um, so experiment with your greens and see what makes you happy um, also I'm gonna add um, little brown branches kind of in between a few areas so it's not just green because that is way too predictable so I'm gonna just stick a few brown little branches here and there um, and pretty much that's just a line or two but I want to leave a lot of that ochre mixed with green and yellow out so I'm going to emphasize on our highlights more than our shadows Just using the shape of the brush just uh, lifting and pushing down because this is a very small round brush and leaves perfect shapes for our leaves so that's very helpful Also, I'm just dabbing a little bit uh, with the sponge uh, and creates again this uh, uneven kind of small spots which is very helpful in this case. So that's um, a technique you can use in your watercolor or acrylics. Uh, not 
not sure I'll use that for um, oils, but I have done it with acrylics. So we're getting very close to the end. A few little more details kind of to bring the whole picture together. Um, our tree or bush is still kind of floating so we're gonna add a little bit of a shadow right underneath and also a little bit of separation between the ground and the wall where it's starting just by adding a few little um, grass uh, pieces here and there a little shadow and pretty much that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell and I will see you next time. Happy painting!